to my channel. New year, huh? New decade! <laughs> and I'm saying all those videos on YouTube New Year's resolutions or go organize with me how I plan my year. Girl, I'm not over Christmas yet. I'm feeling tired every single day. I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. I've only been doing this for two fucking days. Like shit. Give me a fucking break. <sighs> and especially today, I was not having it, girl. I wanted to film, but also I was so tired. Yeah, great beginning of first video of this year. So in my previous video, I reviewed the conspiracy palette and like I said, I wanted to review also mini controversy. So same rule applies here. I want to use as many shadows as I possibly can and it's not gonna be, I think, very hard with this palette because we have uh, only nine shades here but when you look at this palette those shades could be a little bit intimidating because uh, we are inter introduced to some blues here and I know not everybody uh, like blue eyeshadow. I just really want to play with this palette and see if uh, I'm gonna like it as much as a uh, conspiracy one. To be 100% honest, looking at this palette, I'm not blown away. When I received conspiracy, it was like, oh my god, this is heaven, like, oh lord, thank you. But this one, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. The packaging is cute, uh, but you know, you don't have this uh, collector's vibe, collector's feel with this palette, but obviously it's cheaper, it's just a mini palette, so yeah. You know, I'm just gonna grab my brushes and start this makeup. So my lids uh, have a little bit of concealer and a powder, so everything will be blending perfectly, hopefully. So, let's start. And I'm gonna start with a shade which I'm the most curious about, which is the Simulation. Hmm, it's not that... Whoa, okay. <laughs> I wanted to say it's not that smooth, but wow, the pigment is there. And I'm gonna apply it with a finger, as I'm always doing, uh, with shimmery shades, so... Wow! <laughs> Am I doing this again saying wow in every second of this video as I previously did? <laughs> oh my god! So to blend it I'm gonna use Hakuro H77 normal blending brush and the flat earth and it's a very pale blue let's see how this is gonna blend because blues and purples are not very easy to blend and to formulate you know you have your reds and oranges which will always uh, blend perfectly warm browns also uh, perform pretty much always good but dark like cool tones uh, are harder to formulate, so let's see. So as for 30 seconds blend, it's okay. And please keep in mind that the simulation is way, way darker than flat earth. So we don't have this beautiful transition uh, between shades. So to have the perfect blend, I'm gonna mix the simulation with the flat earth. Okay, for having only two blues, this blended really, really nice. Really nice, really nice, really nice. Okay, let's skip that for a second and move on to lower lid. Now I'm gonna use cancel, which I'm a little bit scared of. Really, really pretty shade. Okay, 
Wow! I'm always keeping in mind that I have concealer and a powder under my eyes. Once again, having powder on top of powder, this is really pigmented. Second layer now and it laid down really nice. And obviously we need to blend that and I'm gonna do it with a mixture between cancelled and cry on my couch. Beigey like skin tone shade. I'm really impressed that those blues blended so nicely because like I said it really is hard to formulate blues and purples aubergines, greys. Uh, I added a little bit of black eyeshadow right across my lash line and to finish I think I'm just gonna put something in my inner corner and it's gonna be my boyfriend's purse. It's very very creamy eyeshadow. Really nice. I was a little bit scared that maybe this shimmer would have a little bit of a darker base underneath so let's just roll with second eye for that one i'm gonna use my apology all over the lid i feel like it's not as pigmented maybe as this or maybe is pigmented as much assimilation wow holy shit <sighs> Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of saying wow. I'm gonna blend this with Diet Root Beer, which is a little bit more of mustardy brown, which I really adore. And let's see how it's gonna blend. The simulation, this blue blended a little bit easier than my apology, but I'm not even spending a minute and also I'm using different brush and it's Sigma E38 and I don't know if I like it very much because comparing this to the previous brush which was Hakuro 877 like you can see that this one is, has this point in the end which uh, allows you to blend a little bit easier uh, if you have smaller eyes. So maybe I'll try this one again. So yeah, I feel like it was a brush fault because uh, this time it blended easier. Alright, let's take care of our lower lid now and let me use Controversy. Like true purple. I love it. I love this shade. It's not laying down as perfect, it's not so pigmented as uh, this blue cancelled was. Let me add second layer. Okay, so with having three layers I'm satisfied with pigmentation and coverage, but I feel like I need a little tiny more. And let me blend this with kinda lilac -y shade, which is exposed. Those two shades blended really nicely. So I added a little bit of black eyeshadow right in my lash line and there's nothing really left. We just gonna use again my boyfriend's purse in the inner of the corner. I think I'm not gonna line my waterline. I think I'm gonna leave it because I want my eyes to be a little bit more opened. So I'm gonna put some mascara on and some lip color and I will be back. Um, okay, that was quick. <laughs> that was a very quick uh, review. So like I said, I just put a little bit of uh, mascara, my favorite L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes and some Essence in the Nude uh, Lip Liner, which I adore, and Golden Rose Vision Lipstick in 101. And I think this paired with both eyes really nicely. Wow, I'm starting to fill in those two different eyes look. Uh, hopefully I am not gonna show up like this 
at work. You saw how quickly and easily those shadows blended. Mm, I used every single one uh, of the nine shades in this baby. Once again, I am really impressed and I own a lot of palettes. A lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, a lot of shingle, shingle, <laughs> single shades also. And both of those palettes blended so easily, so nicely. I am really impressed by those blues. The simulation shade is bomb. Beautiful shades in here. Once again, I am so impressed by the quality and I really can't wait for our next uh, palette because Jeffrey said that it's gonna be from uh, the blood family because first one was only reds and it was blood sugar, second blue blood only blues and now <gasps> what it's gonna be? So to sum up this a little bit crazy, uh, quick uh, makeup review. I am shocked, I am impressed, I am very, very happy about those uh, two palettes, uh, and you have to buy those uh, for yourself uh, if you are more into colors. If not, you can still create bomb nude uh, sultry looks with the conspiracy from the previous video. I think that's uh, what I wanted to say in this video. I'm very happy I recorded this video today because like I said I was not having it. I'm really hungry right now and I gotta go. I just gotta go. <laughs> so see you next time uh, and bye. I don't know what that was but <laughs>